Back here on the MLB pregame show, Matt Vaskersian getting you set for the finale of this three-game set. That'll come your way in mere moments, but first we'll take a look at the top's player spotlight. Jay Mack has people around the game buzzing. He took home the AL Cy Young Award last year, and we can see him there receiving the award from his manager just a few moments ago. Well, the secret's out on this guy, d -Row. He is not only lights out. This guy can get it done. Pitches deep into games. He can eat up innings, and more importantly, his stuff is elite. I agree, Dan. He shut down the league all season long. I'm interested to see if he's built on last year's Cy Young award-winning season and gets off to another hot start. All right. Lineups and first pitch are coming up next. Stay tuned for that right here on the show. Afternoon baseball for you now on the show. Coming your way from venerable Fenway Park here in Boston. Today, a matchup of AL East rivals between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Boston Red Sox. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. And now... James Mack as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. I'm so impressed with him and his ability to hit from both sides of the dish. I mean, we've all seen guys that do it, but really, they usually struggle from one side of the plate or the other. Not him, though. He's a true switch hitter who has a lot of success from either side of the box. And he throws the fastball oh, by him down. here, 0 and 1. And Dan DeRoe, the Blue Jays, as they enter play here this afternoon, they come in scuffling a bit of late, just two and four over their last six games. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. Walk-off salami. Have a bite of walk-off salami sandwich. Santa Maria. So it's a two-run shot to right center. So his remarkable season continues. And that gives the Red Sox a two-to-nothing lead. So we'll take one more look. And boy, he just continues to hit the ball out of the ballpark at an alarming rate. What a year. Stepping in once again is Jay Mack. And we'll see what he can do here after going deep his first time up. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Jay Mack will stride in one more time as we flash you back to earlier. This was a big blow right here as he leaves the yard with plenty to spare. Mack. Now the first pitch. Line drive. Hard, that's a base hard, hit into hard. the right center field gap. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. Get out, the get out, get out. Goes, but he is in there yeah, with yeah, a great triple. job right there. He squared up on that side. Yeah, and most guys that hit for the cycle can get a single or a double but struggle with the rest. Not this guy. He's already got the homer and the triple, so the hardest parts are out of the way. We'll see what the rest of the game holds in store. That'll bring up Aaron Judge. Right Over oh, for Number two on the down. afternoon so far. Aaron Judge. The one two. And they run one in on him here as this is on the ground to second base. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. Great job to cash in following that leadoff triple. Infield's back, so you just want to make sure you get it on the ground, and that's an easy RBI. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And standing in is the DH, Jay Mack. This is the part of the game where I think we really start seeing what teams are made of, both in terms of battling back 
showing some resiliency, and in terms of knowing how to play with the lead, locking down that W. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Oh, one pitch on its way. Hit out towards second. And that is Byam on into center field. So good hitting on 0 and 2 nets him a leadoff single. On a good round number for him there, as that's now 250 hits on the season as he peaks ever closer to that single season record. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. Matt, first, nobody out. Runner goes for second. Sent toward first. But this is speared by the first baseman. And he'll take it to the bag for the out. And there's your... Well, it's getting more and more common in baseball now these days to use a ton of pitchers to get through a game. And it took six here to get the job done. But, hey, they'll do whatever they can to get a W. Seven to five how today's comes to an end. The Toronto Blue Jays used a huge eighth inning to help secure the win. Ryan Barucki earns his third win of the year in relief. 